Welcome to the Grey Atom Entrance Test. You just completed your application. Hooray! Now, it is a very intricate process to go through the test. So listen to me carefully. Kidding guys, it's not that complicated. But do listen carefully. You are just two steps away. Hope you're all prepped up. You were supposed to be. By the way, here are the things that you need to know. The 60-minute test which will check for your mathematical, logical, English and technical skills. You must be thinking, oh my gosh, so many sections, these guys are cruel. We are not, there is no negative marking. So cheers! You have an NCQ section followed by the coding challenges. Coding challenges? What are those? Well, we expect you to write small snippets of code in the language that you like, like C, Java, Python, yep, you got it. Okay, back to the test. By now, you must have an email, SMS or WhatsApp with you with the link for the test. Small tip, click on it. Fill out the name and email to register. You have now reached the landing page. Read the instructions carefully. Be careful, once you start, there is no going back. Time and Grey Atoms interest exam waits for nobody. Start only when you are ready. Are you by any chance looking to put in some practice before you attempt the test? If you want a mock test, there is one available. Check the link given in the description. Here's a tip. Take it on a desktop. All the best. Test starts now. You are now in the test. Scroll the right pane to check the questions. You should find anywhere between 30 to 40 multiple choice questions. Attempt all. Remember, no negative marking. Now that you have answered all the questions, pause. Scroll down to find a highlighted green submit assessment button. Do not click it. This will submit the entire test which you don't want. There is another save answers button just below the MCQs. Check all answers and then press save. Pro tip, save every 15 minutes. Unless you have a time machine, make sure to pace yourself. You may want to spend up to 30 minutes on this section. If you are able to correctly answer the MCQs within 30 minutes, I can confidently say that your future looks great for you. Once again, press save answers to save your responses. Reminder, stay away from the submit assessment button. This submits the whole test when you are essentially done with the test. It's time to move on to the coding challenges. First of all, where are the coding challenges? Scroll, scroll, scroll right at the end. They are very important. We look at you through them. Time to pull up your socks. Click on begin challenge to start. Read the instructions carefully. Once you're ready, click begin challenge once more. All right, now you are in. Whoa, 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 there are so many things on my screen. I need an explanation. Okay. On the right hand side is your coding area. You can select the language here. Options, what else do you want? Check out the buttons here to help you check while you code. The run button will help you check whether your code is correct from the language perspective. The run test cases button will check whether the code is satisfying the test cases and is doing what it is supposed to do. Remember, be sure when you click submit. You should do this once you are done with the coding challenge. Alert. There are pre-printed codes in the coding section. Don't delete them. They're there for a reason. Once you submit, okie dokie. We're all set. Now click code, submit and repeat for the next coding challenges. Once all the coding challenges are done, then and only then press Submit Assessment. Ta-da! You're all good to go. May the force be with you. Yay! You're just one step away. Here is something you should know. 1. Don't cheat. We are watching you. If found cheating, we will first find out the code you have copied, then we will find you and finally we will reject you. Please don't copy. Your success depends on your honesty. And yes, I was serious about identifying any plagiarism. So don't do it. Time and tide waits for no man. So keep an eye on the time. In case of tech issues caused by connectivity issues, internet, power failure or if you get logged out or end up closing the window by mistake, no worries, you have an email ID, you'll sail the boat. 
you can always come back, relax, breathe deeply. If all fails in case of an earthquake, etc., call us on hotline. We will help you. So that's it. Adios and all the best.